welcome along to the plug and play tactic series with me, Magoobi, Jar Brof. And we're doing okay. Fourth in the Scottish Premiership. We've got a couple of games in hand because in the last video, we saw us take on Dundee and Aberdeen. We were supposed to be playing a game in between to then play Kilmarnock and then Motherwell. The game got called off because of a waterlogged pitch. So I haven't played a single game. We sit on a six game unbeaten run and we're going to take Kilmarnock on in the Scottish Premiership, their 10th, then the Scottish Cup fifth round against Motherwell. Let's get straight into this game. Having not played a single game since the last video, my team is not going to be changed, but I'm going to have to make a change. Nati's going to have to come in for Mayo. And then I'm going to have to put Thompson on the bench, even though he's injured. So that's going to be my team. Dennis, Nati, Akinola, Maglior, Abita, Evans, Watson, Payne, Kearney, Vale and McMillan. Jack Evans is signed as a defensive midfielder. Signed him on loan from Middlesbrough. He's come in and going to do a job for me. He'll do a great job for me, hopefully. So let's get into this. If I can win this game and win the Scottish Cup fifth round, improves my rating, improves my reputation as we look for a move away, maybe, or to a bigger club. This is now my third season in charge of Arbroath. Won the Scottish Championship first season. Finished sixth in the Premiership second season. Now we've got this season where we're up to fourth currently. 20 minutes gone and we've got the first highlight. Abito takes a long throw. Defender gets the ball away. Comes out to Evans. Takes his time. Into the box. Fouls and it's a penalty. It is a penalty. A chance for Abita to score again as he did the last video. And the goalkeeper saves it. Of course he does. Keeper saves it. That was a chance to take a lead. Another chance. Corner. Watson takes it. Swings it in. Headed up onto the bar by Evans and over. Need a goal. We're dominant. They've had no shots on target or anything yet. We've had seven and two. We're the dominant force in the game. They've now had one shot off target. Approaching half time. Bit disappointing. Should be one up. Should be. Let's go again. Second half. Going to demand more from the players. Kenny's on a 6.5 and so is McMillan. McMillan's struggling for goals since he's come back from injury. Right, they've got the highlight though. Move it forward. Play the ball out to the right hand side. They've got some space. They've got some men over. They've worked it out to the left hand side. Watson with a good challenge. Plays a long ball looking for McMillan. Takes it down and goes past the defender. One on one. And he shoots straight at the goalkeeper. Roll reversal between Ryan and McMillan. Cross comes in from the corner. They get the ball away. Evans collects it. But he's just shoved off the ball too easy. Actually, roll reversal between Vale and McMillan, of course. Vale was the one struggling last year. McMillan was scoring plenty. It's completely changed. But McMillan's season has been disrupted with injury. Right, we've got sustained possession. Vale shoots, goes wide. We're all over them. We need a goal. This is one of these games that looks like you're going to end up drawing. We've got another highlight. Abita takes the throw. Goes up the line to Vale. Holds off a defender. Does well. Strides into midfield. Payne to Tom Kearney. Kearney spots Abita wide. Plays a good ball into McMillan. Offside. Second goal he's had disallowed in two games for being offside. Looked like he was. Right, let's pause it. McMillan 6.4. He's got to come off. Let's go Ryan for McMillan. Let's go Collins as well up front for Vale. And let's just see what else can I do in this game. Who else is not really performing? Tom Kearney. Let's go Ben Summers for Kearney. And let's just see if that works. Fire up to the team. We need a goal. We need to keep on the coattails of Celtic and Dundee United. With Dundee United coming up shortly. So we've got a corner. Six minutes to go. Long throw into the box. Cleared away. Maglio. Nati. Evans. Watson. Comes inside and shoots. And he scores. And the goalkeeper has made a right mess of it at the last minute. It looked as though the keeper would save it. As the, as the ball drops to Maglio, he does well. Nati, good pass 
into Evans. Great first touch to Watson. Shoots and the goalkeeper has gone underneath his body. He's let it go in and I'm going to take it all day long. We'll do that quite happily. But oh no, they've got a highlight. Two minutes to go. Get the ball away. We do. Maglio. Summers has got a chance to break. He does. He strides forward unchallenged. He's still going. Summers. Oh, unlucky. The, the further he took that ball closer to the byline, the worse the angle become. And he missed it woefully. They're coming forward again. They're giving it away to Ryan. Spots Collins. Collins in behind the defender. Keeper comes out and makes a save this time. How many chances we had in this game? And we're only 1 0. Corner comes in from a beater. Takes his time. Whenever you're ready. Corner comes in. Headed away. Into injury time. Three minutes to go. Hold on and get the win. We do. Excellent. 1 0. Hard fought, but well deserved, you've got to say. So. <clears throat> That's a good win. Celtic win as well. So we've got a game in hand still on Celtic and Hibs. We're currently seven clear of Hibs, 12 clear of sixth place. We're only five behind Celtic. We win, we go up to 45 points, our game in hand, and we'll be two behind them. Most importantly, three behind Dundee, and we play them shortly. So it's coming together. We're doing well. Five unbeaten now, which is good. Send the assistant to do that. So let's move forward and take on Motherwell Scottish Cup fifth round at the weekend. Here we go. This is Motherwell in the Scottish Cup. Big, big game. Let's have a look at my bench. Thompson's still injured. Mayo is back. Mayo comes into the team. Nati replaces injured Thompson. Everybody else remains the same. No changes. We win this game. We get into the quarterfinals of the Cup. We're building. We're beginning to build something quite special here. Big, big game. Encourage the players. We're away. We're at Motherwell. <clears throat> First highlight is ours. A beat up. Long throw. Maglior's there. They head it away. Tom Kearney collects a loose ball. Turns the defender. Plays it back to Evans. Maglior. Evans. Just holding on to possession here at the minute. Nice little reverse pass to Kearney. Sweeps it back out to a beater. Beats the defender. Cross comes in, Kearney's shot blocked on the penalty spot, unlucky. Nice little move and creativity to open the door. Shot was blocked. Right, they've got the throw in, 19 minutes gone. They give it away, Kearney steps in, gives it to McMillan. McMillan looking for a ball, holds it up, he comes out to Payne and Vale's there, shoots straight at the goalkeeper. Two good chances, need that goal. Get our noses in front and then force Motherwell to come out at us and hopefully we can hit him on the counter. Approaching half time and McMillan's got another injury and he comes off. Not sure what the injury is. Thigh injury, so he's going to be out for a few weeks, which is not good. He's had an injury ravaged season, McMillan. Brilliant last year. 35 goals. Just a shame that it's been plagued this season, the low knee. Evans is struggling on a 6.4, but hopefully he'll improve. Akinola is also a 6.5. Evans is actually getting worse in his performance. Kearney as well. So we've got 25 to go. Let's pause this and make some changes. So we know that Randall can come in and do a job there. So he replaces Evans as the deep line playmaker. Kearney comes off for, for not Collins. I need to undo that one. Summers on for Kearney. That's all three changes. Can I make another one? I think I can, can't I? Let's go Collins for Jack Vale. Oh, I can't. It's still three. Still three subs, but they've got the highlight. 22-0. Cross comes in. Headed over the bar. Ask the players to fire up here. Their body language is not happy with me asking them that, but we need to kick on. Need a result. Highlight. 11 to go. Maglio. Plays it out to Watson. Comes forward. Unchallenged. Launches the ball forward. Looking for nobody, really. Bit of a waste. And Motherwell come away with it. I think we all know what's going to happen here, don't we, by the looks of it, unless we can win a challenge. 
Right, first cross is blocked. Second cross is blocked and we've won the ball back. Payne, with time, launches it to nobody wide. Again, twice we've given the ball away. They're working it through the middle. We're forcing them backwards. They're not really going anywhere at the minute, but the ball over the top. And famous last words, and Stewart has scored. We're not going anywhere at the minute, he says, and we concede. With 10 minutes to go, they were going nowhere. He's in an offside position, and then he comes back. Then he makes the run off the shoulder. Goal. Ten minutes to go. Jamal Moore from the players. Akinola, 6.4. And Randall. We're going to go out of the cup. We are. We're out of the Scottish Cup fifth round, and that's a blow. I have to say, that is a real blow. Motherwell was struggling. Towards the end of the, of the league table. Aberdeen big winners against Montrose. Hibbs beat Falkirk. Queen's Park Peterhead 1-1. Rafe Dundee 0-0. And Rangers thump Sterling 5-0. Barry Wilkie on social media says, Never seen anything like that. We created more than enough chances to win that. So unlucky. Deary me. McMillan's out for a hamstring. Eight weeks he's out. Deary me. That's a real blow. A real blow, Macmillan. So, let's have a look at my schedule now. So, we've got a big game coming up against Dundee United. I'm going to play Rafe. I'm going to then come back and play Dundee, who are second, and then Hamilton, who are sixth. So, if you enjoy this series, drop a like on the video, then subscribe to the channel, but make sure you hit the bell for notifications. You don't miss when my videos come out every day, 6 o'clock. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.